The site was one to behold. Like, I've never been to Yellowstone, but for me, this is like a real close second. Steps from old 395, a geyser, the likes of which hasn't been seen here since the days of Mark Twain. It was just magnificent. This whole terrace was steaming. Back then, Steamboat was the third largest geyser field in the United States. Most of that activity went underground until just recently. Last year, we showed you the mineral rich water percolating, but a few weeks ago, it was ejecting water about 30 feet high to the height of the telephone pole. And then you would get bursts that would go another 10 or 15 feet. It's captivated geologists with the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology out of UNR who are actively researching, visiting the site often to take samples and monitoring the temperature with these probes. So what caused it? That's the million dollar question. It could be a lot of things. There's been a change in the water table in South Reno. When this area moved from more agriculture to more housing, that may have, the water table may have risen. We could have had a little micro earthquake and it could have shaken one of those fluid channels. There is geothermal production in the area. We're not ruling that out. While the geyser is gone, there is still a lot of geothermal activity out here, so much so that just within the last week, several small pots have started bubbling up out of the ground. Listen to how cool this is. Phil Busick, who owns this land, may have had something to do with the geyser subsiding, at least for now. We poured cold water just through a garden hose off the building, and after about a half hour of doing that, it settled down. His building is just feet away from this incredible natural phenomenon. And not everybody has a geyser or a fissure bubbling hot water in their backyard. So uh, it, is, it, is, it is something special. In Reno, Ben Marjot reporting.